Um, I will mute everybody for now, and then when needed, unmute yourself. And I will give the controls to everyone. Hello, we are live. Today is Sunday, December 4th, 2016. And I have with me Angie. Aitrach. Aitrach. Uh, Danny, Dmitri, and Jasmina. Hello, everybody. And two more people are coming, would be Lena and Ella. And they will sneak in in a minute. I'm giving the controls to everyone. So please help muting. If there is noise coming, please help muting others. Just, just to, to keep the conversation going. Okay, shared controls with everyone. All right, now, the announcements. Um, thank you everyone for your support. Thank you everyone for watching. A week ago, we had a webinar which, by some reason, unknown to me, jumped 10, like four, five, six, seven times higher in views than others, and random people from outside the world were watching it. Something made it, go wild and i think it was because of elijah i don't think the keyword is so much so so, so but anyway um it was just seven thousand views in two days which was unusual for us it's not the only criterion how we kind of evaluate you know the outreach but but it's it's um i'm looking at that and see you know because when tons of people start watching, we have to understand how audience change. Right now, we, we talk to ourselves, but then when outside people are coming, we might change our language a little bit. Uh, another another announcement. Subscribe to this channel, which is Hugh Color 2. Search on YouTube, Hugh Color 2, and subscribe to it. We first broadcast through that for technical reasons, and then we copy it to Hugh Color TV. So if you are subscribed to Hugh Color 2, it would be easier for you to get in the webinars and get the views I'll get the, to watch them. Uh, Jim has, uh, we bought a touch screen for Jim to improve his uh, vision. So it's a big touch screen, 21 inch, I think like that. And now he would see what's on the screen much better and send the money to me or to Jim, doesn't matter. It was $300 and we already received some donations. So keep, keep them going, thank you. I invite more feedback. I need your feedback positive or negative because because right now it's it's nice but you want more you, right now it, it's kind of you say something and there is no response whatsoever so we have to use our intuition to figure out what's happening so if you just comment under the video or, or comment elsewhere and elsewhere would be Facebook so I moved lots of my activity to Facebook so search on Facebook Hucola group that is Hucola page and Hucola group. I'm on Hucola group and uh, join there. And Facebook is nice because you can comment faster than uh, our main site, humancolon.org, is still there. It just kind of drags and we can't do anything about it. It's just too big for, for now for us, for our capacities. Um, I will do the same webinar next time. So prepare your questions. I will go to meditation for four minutes. I'll bring uh, Yogananda, and then after that, I'll bring Nina. Nina. Uh, Yogananda is an ascended master, and um, questions for ascended masters are um, basically non-alien questions, usually. And for Nina, you can, can ask your alien questions if you like. Nina is a hybrid young adult in the alien space representing Georg Fittnier and others. And uh, she's my hybrid, uh, hybrid daughter in the alien space. I think that's all. Thank you very much for joining. I will leave now. I will be around, but, but mainly I will be letting others to speak. And I will intend to go slow because I'm a beginner channeler. And when I'm silent, I receive the download and then I speak it out. So I have to like, 
I cannot do how do it's called parallel translation or uh, synchro synchronous yeah synchronous in interpretation I do it like by chunks a chunk and then I listen and then I s listen again and I speak yeah. all right any more comments questions suggestions all right off I go All right, four minutes of silence. <clears throat> Good time of the day. How is the sound? Perfect. Oh, thank you for asking. Answering. You're welcome. Yogananda is here, partly. I will get in just as I start speaking. The topic of today. is action. I'll start with a with a brief monologue and then I will invite questions. Prepare your questions. I hear the Max here the feedback. Can you mute your microphones? <clears throat> Fire element, element of fire is dominant at this time. And it calls for action. It symbolizes action. It symbolizes the beginning of new enterprises, the new beginnings. It is an opportunity for you to discover yourself, to discover who you are, inner, deeper depth. The old cycles 
are coming to the end and converging. Many of the old cycles have completed their cycle. And now the new cycles are fired up. And it is an opportunity for you to fire up your new ideas. The ideas are in the air. How do you decide what to do? How do you decide what, where to go? It is all inside. Look inside. Look into you and see what is coming out of inside of you. You are being guided. And this guidance comes from the heart. This guidance comes from every chakra of yours. You are being guided through spiritual energies. So feel them in your body. How do you feel spiritual energy? They surprise, they come through your common senses, normal senses, physical senses. It is the same senses you got. Even third eye comes to you through visual cortex, through visual sensory and analytical part of the brain. So it comes to your mind through familiar routes. The Reiki energy comes to you through sensations inside of your hands, on the surface of your palms. You feel it with your senses, the vibrations. You feel like other vibrations. They finally come to you through your senses. And also, they come to you as understanding and as can be understanding of the mind, understanding of the heart, understanding in terms of feeling of the heart, the heart consciousness. It could be understanding in the belly, in the solar plexus. It comes through your chakras and it comes as understanding. Realize you're being guided through many ways and two major ways are by opening the doors for you and closing the doors for you opening some doors closing some other doors so look around there is usually enough open doors more than one and usually tons of closed doors. This is the nature of your physical dream, hmm. your dream reality. It is a lot of limitations, a lot of restrictions. It is a lesson of acting in a very restricted game, a, a very restricted environment, very restricted drama, very restricted theatrical play you are forced to choose between very a very limited number of options but usually there is there are options and usually more than one and as you expand there are more options and then as you contract spiritually and your options contract and your choices contract and your life path contracts then you run out of options and that is a sign that it is just the end of the cycle and take it as the end of the cycle usually people get sad and depressed at the end of the cycle now is the beginning of the new cycle some cycles are synchronized with the moon some cycles are synchronized with the sun some synchronized with the um seasons which is also sun cycles and planets and so on and there are cycles which go beyond the planets and astronomy you got your biological cycles and so on so 
when you run out of options, just recognize it is the end of the cycle. And now it is the doors start open. It is the beginning of a new cycle for many of you, for all of you. It is time to fire up. How do you choose which door to open? Feel the guidance inside. And then make a preliminary choice. Preliminary choice. Explore an option. First, explore, in a, explore it in your mind. Explore it in your heart. Explore it in your stomach. Think about it. Feel it. And if it feels excited, start exploring it through action and see where it leads you. And if things go well and everything flows towards you, with you, if you get in the flow, then it's a good sign. And if you start moving and it gets blocked, things randomly stay on your way, it could be a sign that it's not yours. But you always have a choice to keep pushing if you like to. Anyway, either way, you will get an experience in moving this direction. And you will get to a new point, And from this new point, your options will change. So moving from where you are to a new place will give a new perspective. Now, realize who you are understand that for some people most of the options are just observing being where you are serving to whatever comes to you and being passive within that mindset you still have options what to do and how to do and how to develop internally and externally for some people, it is joining a team, joining a company, joining a, an enterprise, joining a group, and be part of a group. It is a very valid option. For many, it is the preferable option become, because many of you are still not there to be leading things. I realize that some of you are young, some of you are not completed your question, uh, your lessons, some of you still carry mo much of the fear which prevents you from leading. But even within a group, within the community, within an enterprise, you still can develop your leadership skills, develop your pioneering skills, going forward as a single pioneer, exploring by yourself and then inviting others to join. You don't actually have to be formally a leader. Many leaders are happy in the back. Many leaders are leading from behind. Many leaders are actually on the lower hierarchical positions while, while people come to them for advice, people listen to their opinion, and people connect to their energies as leaders while not realizing that these are true leader. Sometimes a true leader is in the back, is in the rear rows, while the formal leader is has a very limited leadership energy and a very limited leadership capacity, understanding and talent. So you don't have to be a formal leader to actually lead. Yes. So develop this heart of the leader, develop this solar plexus of a leader, develop the skills. And the skills of the leader are to be aware first, to be aware, to be 
aware in this physical dream and also to be aware of the guidance. There is no leader who is not intuitive. It is not possible to be a leader without listening to higher guidance, listening to intuition, listening to what the spirits are telling you, what your higher self is telling you. But many of you are getting there. Many of you are playing the game, a life plan game, a life game of becoming a leader. It is in your life contract. It is in your choice of the lessons. You connect, you, you elected certain lessons to develop certain leadership skills and soon you will have the opportunity to lead. Now you have the opportunity to lead. So take it easy. You might be not fully there. You might be not formally ready for all the challenges of leadership, but that is an option to choose. And it is a state of mind. It don't have to be formally hired as Okay, it looks like he will return soon. Such a very wise man he brought in. Yeah, I agree. We have been expecting him. And he has spoken for what uh, we have been thinking from yesterday. Gee, we have nothing to speak about. But now we we have already spoken what we have needed. 
Someone have a question? Yes. What is it that you desire? I uh, didn't notice uh, your name, and I would like to know it's uh, you are uh, Om uh, Om Om Dragone. Your name is Om. O H M. Somewhat that resonates with who we are, but we don't always like to bring uh, to name our group. We like to be called Iraksana's family because we are an intimate group of people. We don't like to be called something much higher. We are approachable. We don't want to label you by uh, some kind of name. That is our son's name. Sons? One of them. Okay, thank you. Is Yogananda there? We've been waiting. Not yet. In, uh, how uh, how dimension uh, are you uh, um, are you staying uh, now? What what is your dimensional state? We have been around here ever since. We have been there with you humans and in our place. Orion, maybe that would be familiar to you. We are everywhere. So you are not in a physical form? We have physical, we have uh, energy, we have everything around you. Yes. We are not time. limited to physical. Oh, okay. So you are above a third dimension? That is correct. And we have been waiting for an ascended master to speak. And we want to bring him back. Maybe praying we, we will succeed. Yogananda, we. All right, the broadcast disconnected and we start again. Now, today is again Sunday, December 4th, 2016. And I have been channeling Yogananda ahead with me, NG. Aithrach, Christopher, Danny, and Kina. Hey, everybody. Oh, I, I'll give uh, muting rights to everyone. Just a sec. Uh, share controls, share controls, share controls. So I will finish. So do you remember where, where, where Yogananda stopped? I remember the message, so I can repeat it. I remember that they uh, say that... In he was talking about cycles, about uh, there's different uh, moon, the sun, and uh, different things, and Perfect. it's about opening the doors. Perfect. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I will. I'll bring my ancestors in, so that way they can listen uh, to. Uh, to what Yogananda is speaking about, because he's actually considered one of our kind. One of our race, you know. Wonderful, thank you. All right. I'll, I'll be silent for, for a couple of minutes and then we'll bring Yogananda back. <clears throat> And I have with me now in the audience Ella and Lena. And I'm off now.
How is the sound? <clears throat> Perfect. So the cycles. And the world four elements. The cycles of spiritual development coincide with the cycles of the life path development, of physical dream development. There is a period for expansion, and that's an air sign. There is a period of contraction, and that's your depression, sadness, closing of the doors, expansion, doors open, expansion, you have choices, you go forward, contraction. You get sad, the doors closed, the cycle is over. 99 times you fail, one time you get through. Be ready for failure. Take it easy. It's part of the lesson. The failure gives you the lesson too. The failures give you as good lessons as success. And as you learn the lesson, you experience pain. It's natural. That's part of the game. And as you experience pain, it crystallizes becomes the bone of your spiritual body, becomes a crystal in your spiritual body, becomes a solid vortex in your, in your spiritual body. That's the element of earth, element of wood. No, element of earth, I'm sorry. And then, as you fail, you melt. As you fail, you melt your old ideas, your old stories. That's the element of water. You melt. You go around. There are obstacles. You go around obstacles. There are pains. You melt the pains. It become liquid. That's the element of water. And then you fire up. You fire with new ideas, you fire with new hopes, you fire with new understandings and new missions. Fire up and you move forward. Now is a period where the element of fire is in the air. Old programs have been completed. New programs are being started by you. All doors are closed. New doors become to be open for you. So be ready for making choices. You get a gift of the energy, a gift of open doors, a gift of new opportunities, a gift of closing the old situations, old paradigms, it's a gift for you. Accept it with gratitude. Every one of you has an opportunity to become a leader. Every one of you has tons much to learn to become a leader. And as a leader, one of the main qualities is to take easy the failures. 99 times you will fail. Be ready for that. Plan for that. Accept it as a part of the lesson, as a part of this physical game, physical reality game, dream game, the play, the theatrical play. You get prompts to fire up. You get prompts to fail. Take it easy. It's part of the lesson. You take home the lessons. 
you take home the lessons and then you as a phoenix you get reborn as a phoenix bird as a phoenix bird you are born in the fire you get burnt in the fire burnt in the fire and get born again For being a leader, you don't have to be formally acknowledged a leader. You don't have to have a following. You can be leader in your heart. You can be leader, a leader in your stomach, in a solar plexus. You can be a leader in your mind. You can speak up as a leader. Very often, true leaders are among others in the network. No one might see them as a leader, or many might not see them, might not see them as leaders, but their heart is of a leader and they lead with their heart. They lead with their energy. And they go forward as explorers and as pioneers and find a way for themselves and for the others. Every one of you is now pushed in that position by the circumstances, by the timeline. The timeline has changed radically. There, there was a, a radical shift. The old ways collapsed. The new ways are becoming to form. And be ready for a bumpy ride in which you will be forced, every one of you, will be forced to become an explorer, a pioneer, and a leader, because you will be in the new waters, swimming in the new waters, flying in the new air. One thing to keep in mind, you will have to make leaps of faith. You'll be forced to make leaps, jumps of faith, because it will be more scary to stay where you are than jumping. There will be heat behind, heat underneath, heat inside. You will be so afraid to be where you are, so it will be safer to go forward. It is usually safer to go forward than to stay, usually, often, not always. As explorer, realize there is a breathing, there is an oscillation, there is a cycle there. You go forward and then you fail. You go forward and then you fail and come back. So plan for the time of recuperation, recovery, self-healing, learning the lesson, melting and dying and being born again in this life, in this life. Um. And as you jump forward, be ready that the keys, the magical keys, the magical answer, the magical gift, the sacred gift will be given in the last second. As you fly through your jump, as you are in the air, jumping from one place to another, Sorry. Ayahana, 
So be ready. As you move forward, be ready for the gift. Keep your eyes open. Keep your hand ready for receiving the gift. Keep your heart ready for receiving the gift. The magical gift might be given to you at the last moment to open the door which is closed and so it can go forward. That is a very simple message. So be ready for the opportunities as you move forward. Explore, understand, plan for failures, but you got to explore, you got to move forward. And you might, no. And plan to be in a part of the team, plan to lead a team. Find, no. Be ready to accept new disciples, new students, new helpers, new friends. You will fail when they come your way. Your followers will join as you lead. The followers will never join as you stay still, but as you move forward and as you are fired up, as your heart is full with hope and energy, as your heart, as your third chakra, the solar plexus is full with energy, the followers are going to be attracted to you. Be ready for that. Recognize the guidance in them. Recognize the guidance by higher spirits, higher energies in their eyes. Look at the eyes of people. When they come to you at random, be ready to accept. They really will be what you expect. As the students, the followers, disciples join the Jesus, the Yeshua, joined Yeshua of Nazareth. They were of unexpected backgrounds, unexpect, unexpected professions, unexpected moods, but everything was changed in a fire. Everything was melted and reborn. As people join you, you together will reform reshape, recrystallize in a new structure. Be ready for that. And realize your game is not isolated. You are part of a bigger, beautiful flower. You are but a little petal of a big tree with beautiful flowers. Each of them playing a absolutely necessary role, indispensable, an indispensable role. You are part of a bigger drama. And yet you still have choices. Yet you are still forced to make choices. So accept that with gratitude. That's beautiful. And we are playing along, helping you on that way. We are here to serve you. You are one of us. You are us. We are together in this beautiful ocean, beautiful structure, beautiful temple. This temple is being built. We are part of it. Amen. I invite questions and comments and sharings. Hello. Yes, uh, Poppy. Go ahead. Hello, Yogananda. We've been Hello. expecting you. Hello. We are from another near race, and we've been hearing about you ever since our son is here on Earth. And we have a question about how does a person, once become already a leader, formal leader that you spoke about, can still become a leader no matter what. We have been trying to show this to our son as well. We have others who are following the same thing. 
can you explain the question, please? So you're asking Wait. for practical advice, how to become a formal leader? How do you become a leader even when you are already a formal leader? Oh, how to evolve to lead when you already are formally acknowledged. Yes. Say you have been hired or you jumped in the position and then you need to melt into it, right? Shape into it and keep it, get it going. Yes, right. Uh, <laughs> that is a topic of many, many interesting approaches of which I will choose the sort of idea of service. To become a true leader, you actually become a servant of all. As you become a servant of all, as you embrace the idea of the service, you are given the energy, the true energy, the true program. You get downloads for truly shape into the leadership energy. It takes self-contemplation and painful, often painful choices between the ideas of your followers, the ideas of your students and subordinates, and then understanding of the opportunity to serve all together in a global path in a global flow, understanding the flow of time, understanding the flow of the larger game and realizing how can you serve the Divine Mother? How do you serve the creation in this capacity? So you connect the needs of the top with the needs of the bottom. The needs of the top, the needs of the peers, with the needs of the bottom. So, serving God, serving your subordinates, and serving your peers, equals. These are six major connections. Up, sideways, and down. And lastly, you still have to be yourself, finding yourself, finding inside your program, finding inside your nature. Because the only way you can serve by finding who you are. You cannot comply with the demands from above, with the demands from below, and demands from peers. Sometimes, the best way is to step away, to turn down your opportunities if it is not you, and start over. It is another way of failure, and sometimes you realize it's inevitable that you have to start over and build your new following because your old programs don't work. It's not you anymore. You're not in the right place. So finding the right place is as essential as serving is in the wrong place. You either have to adopt or you have to move move on. This is a simple, shortened formula and I invite more comments and questions on any topics. Yes, uh, I have a question. Um, uh, not question, but uh, you, you, are, you are saying knowledge of high level uh, to rise, uh, attain this knowledge we have to be uh, out of the 3D and be aware and uh, having our own work done yet to uh, enter in, in, 
what you are saying because it's high uh, knowledge. Uh, do you understand? It's true. Um, please explain your question. I heard everything. I understood some, but you might want to re re reshape the question in a more clear way. Okay. Um, I uh, would like to know if uh, in our state, your knowledge is not too high because uh, for, um, for attain uh, what you are saying, we have to be uh, yet out of 3D perspective, um, aware of our inner, um, inner power and inner uh, uh, consciousness. We have to stay in the center before, uh, before using what you are saying. It's, it oh, is right. Thank you. I understood now. Yes. The message is long play message, long term message. Just remember it. And as you are experience one of the steps, it is a permission slip for you, an interpretation, a possible interpretation. When you are depressed, realize where you are in the cycle. When you are faced a choice, realize where you are in the cycle. So it is just another gift of ours, which is simple. You can remember it. And then as you go through your lessons, it is an option for you to look at the lessons from a certain perspective, which helps you to understand the challenge and helps you to go through the failure. Yet you still have to experience the failure, the pain. But as you do experience, realize it serves the higher purpose, this serves your spiritual growth as well. So understanding the nature of the game is permitted at this moment as you approach higher dimensional levels as you already play in a higher dimensional field transition field so now it is okay for you to know the rules of the game because soon relatively soon historically soon you will be playing in the field where these rules are taken as granted as clear the veils will be more will be more transparent so it is a part of the learning past of the part of the transition you actually are already in a higher dimensional field so the old you have to go <laughs> not everything but many parts of old third, third dimensional you have to go they cannot really function in this higher dimensional transition state you are now all starting to move. The old ways will be broken soon. So when they are broken, don't be desperate. Understand it is part of the creation of the new temple. It's all right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, time is uh, speeding. Is speeding up, is rising uh, for... for um, help other people how much how longer time we have in terms of years to um, to uh, hope to bring other in the light yes i understand time you create and now you have the capacity to create faster to create the experience of the time moving faster what is the interesting as it moves faster things are getting done faster so not only time runs faster for you but you kind of skip you can skip certain things and they get done without you paying attention so don't be that scared of time running faster because you still can balance things they can get done because they're not as important anymore these are kind of mm, you're driving the car and you have to pay attention on the road and the things 
pass on the sides, you don't really have to pay attention to things on the sides. It doesn't really matter. They, they, they get that, they, they get done anyway. Now, it is a transition period, and it is the most interesting period in the history. The most interesting. <laughs> you are so privileged to be playing on the field. Many spirits, many souls, many aliens from other dimensions are jealous for you, for your experience. It is the most challenging time, and at the same time, it is most opportune time, the time of most impact. Whatever you choose has the biggest impact. So in terms of efficiency, your life is the most efficient. As many souls that, they, that have come before, they were predecessors, precursors of the big change. As me in that life, I knew I wouldn't see the future. I wouldn't be there in this body. I knew I'm still precursor. I'm coming to bring the message, to make the change, but the results will be coming later. So do you. You will see a lot of change, but in this body, you wouldn't see the far future, but you will be making the biggest impact. You might have to change one or two bodies because you see the fully transformed Earth. But in this lifetime, you will see wonderful flowers of the new they're already here you already experience them and you will see much more including the open contact including the extraterrestrials coming down and earth humans coming up that is in your lifetime slowly but for sure Time is, of course, an illusion, but it is the ground stone. It is the basis of this experience, so respect it. The spirits of time are wise and powerful. Be friends with them. I invite more questions and comments. Yes, uh, I have a last question. Uh, what uh, why uh, we seems we seem to know all of this knowledge yet and we for, forget every time but we know we have uh, we know all these answers what we forget them uh, uh, because we need them what we for, we forget them It is necessary. It is necessary for this illusion, for this drama, for this physical drama, for this physical illusion. You created this illusion as a collective, as a human, Earth human collective. We created this as a collective. It is beautiful. It had up times, it had down times, but the parameters have been carefully chosen and can carefully tuned up by the spirit of creation, by the spirits of creation, by the earth consciousness. It created it. You are flowers, which were created through careful programming. And the whole universe looks at you with amazement how much energy, how much opportunity is there and how much love is there in positive and negative sense there is so much love on earth so forgetfulness is 
a necessary and useful tool, useful building block of this dream as much as time is. Time illusion plus forgetfulness illusion make this flowering, make this earth garden possible. Thank you very much. All right, I invite more questions. I just want to add in there, if I can add into her question, I had an answer coming to me, but I didn't want to. Please, break. thank you, please, thank you. And it was something like um, when she forgets and and that, it will all come back to you when you start when you stop reaching for it when you stop searching for it like it's outside of you or somewhere away from you you will start realize that you already have all the answers within you so if you feel yourself in a state of reaching and searching for for your answer then remind yourself take a breath Take all the time you need to relax because you have all the time necessary. Just remember that. Thank you. Thank you. Any more comments, questions? We would like to give thanks to you for speaking such message. Thank you that we have come from a faraway place, perhaps you may have not noticed, but you were right. We send our kids here so that they can learn. And we are one of the persons. And we like to thank you for acknowledging our presence. Please introduce yourself. We don't always prefer to call by our names, but if you desire to know our names, our son is Irak Sanda. Maybe uh, your, uh, your counterpart must have known him. And that we are his families, the dragons. Thank you. Welcome. <sighs> Comments, questions, or should I bring Nina? All right, at this point, I will bring in them. <clears throat> Give me a minute. I wish you all a wonderful journey. I wish you all the strength and hope. I wish you all wisdom of your own and wisdom of your ancestors. May Divine Mother be with you all the time. May be you connected to the energies above, the energies beyond, and the energies inside. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> Thank you for having me. Let me give you a little update. This is Nina. I am Max's hybrid daughter in the alien alien space. <clears throat> The alien world is in a different dimension. And we actually work with multiple timelines. But our attention is 
we work with multiple timelines of the Earth, and our attention has been tightly linked with your timeline. We follow you, we are friends with you, we keep nice, nice friendly ties with you. So we are very excited by your shifts, by your shift, by your changing of the timeline. We are very excited by the new developments. Some of them are very sad, but it is a release of darkness. The darkness comes on the surface, and as it comes on the surface, it becomes tiny. It becomes manageable. It becomes little and funny. <laughs> Their so-called conspiracy cabal was so scary and strong when it was secret. Now, as it comes to the surface, as, it's, as it pushes, is being pushed up to the surface, you just realize it loses the strength. It becomes manageable, and it becomes disorganized and disordered. Instead of a big, powerful, unbeatable dragon, you get a swarm of bats. <laughs> no dragon anymore, just bats. And they are not as scary as they were before. The light shines through. There will be ups and downs. Obviously, there will be ups and downs. It is a time of the jumpy, bumpy road. You can feel the bumps already. Take it easy. We are proud of you. We're watching you closely. The hybrids of the Earth, origins, the aliens related to Earth, We are near. We are your brothers. We have common ancestry. And as the descendants of your ancestors, we are proud of your achievements. And we look forward to your completion of the cycle. We look forward to your graduation. We look forward to your acceptance to the galaxy. The time is near. It's, the, it's your collective choice how to play it out, but we see much hope now as you choose quick and as bumps will break certain prohibitions, the chances of the open contact become much higher. We ready ourselves for the contact. We come down. We send our first mm, secret agents. No, secret workers, secret light workers. We send our first secret light workers, the ones who are more looking like humans, who have studied sufficiently your customs so they wouldn't be noticed. And they come materialize in your environment, holographically or physically, for a short time to experience and just to watch. We send our watchers. And they come back, and we're all excited about what we see. Hmm. 
There is not many of us, but many of the hybrids. But we are very hopeful and we have wonderful powers and wonderful gifts to offer to you when it is permitted. So we are eager to be of service. Thank you. I invite comments, questions, and sharings. Yes, who is coming first, please? May you identify yourself. We can see a little uh, a human somewhat is speaking to us. Blue human from you. I'm a hybrid human alien. Uh, my name is Nina. I am a young female. I have grown up in the Pleiadian Yayel culture. I have much of my parents' human ancestry and Pleiadian Yayel as well. Another question? Or can I go ahead? So how is it that you desire, and what do you desire from uh, the, the Cabals, the Illuminatis? They are also one of our kind. And that we desire that you treat them nicely, even when they have committed a grave sin against humans and Earth. We kindly agree. Much change is needed. Much awakening is needed. We are here to serve. We respect the choice of, of the earth humans. We are waiting to be invited. We are offering our help. But it is your humans, your earth humans lesson and game. We respect your choices. We can only advise. Our advice would be to look on the bright side, realize that now the Conspiracy Illuminati Cabal people are disarrayed. It's not an organized dragon. It is a disorganized array of hackers, of individuals and groups who have lost their way. As they lose their way, you together as people, as a network of people have to find your way, have to make your choices. And as negativity reveals itself, the choices will become obvious. So be ready to make these obvious choices. Decentralize and unite, decentralize and unite. That's our advice. Decentralize by reducing the hierarchical system and unite as a network. The network of good people has already formed. The network of people who just want to make things better, to live fulfilling lives and not to dominate. So democratic decentralization and unification, uniting all of the global humanity in a more uniform, more single-leveled, less fragmented humanity, more united, more brotherly, sisterly humanity. That's what we welcome. And that is the path which many other civilizations have made. We invite you to make this transition from the tree structure of rigid hierarchy and secrecy to an open structure of the network of 
equal brothers and sisters. Thank you. More questions or follow-up questions or sharings are invited. Yes, Thank I you for the idea. We would like to identify ourselves to you because you have been honest with our ways. We are the draconians and dragons. We used to have feuds against you and because you have chosen to do the things that they have uh, done us right. We would like to thank you for speaking, for bringing us this new beginning. This is something we have long desire for our people as well. Thank you, much gratitude. The draconian energy is felt by us, it's felt by humans. The small wars are inevitable, so we invite your wise guidance in guiding the wars to the beneficial positive completion without much destruction and with minimal damage. That's where your service will be appreciated. Yet we depreciate the secrecy. We choose and advise to choose the openness. As secrets come out, the humanity will be able to decide for itself and will be able to be fre freed from the trickery, freed from the deception and unite in an open fashion and be independent, truly independent. That's what we welcome. Very well. We are thankful for that. Thank you. I invite more comments and questions. Yes, I would like to say for Dracarian peoples, when you become love and you smile to the world, the world smiles at you back. You don't have to be worried by your what's becoming. All have this right place and always arrived if it has to arrive. But be open and uh, the people will change and uh, forgive. But you have to do your part and your part. Thank you. Someone in those question, please. I will try to do a blessing. Thank you. Go ahead. Shoanahiya Shuya <sighs> Sahiya wa kiya na iya wa sahiya. 
Chuya kaniya wa si shi kana ha si shi ya wani ya wa. Rana yi 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 sha. Raka na na na. Wa sa 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 ki 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 ya na. Wa ra ki ya na sa ji 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 wa 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 ki. Nia wa sa shi shi ya ra ki na su shi ra ka nia wa sa yi sha ra ka na shi ya ki ya na sha wa ra ki ya na Um, I thank you for being brave. I thank you for taking the challenge. I thank you for bringing your love and bringing the divine guidance to this experience. As the river goes, as a fish swims, as birds fly, your spirit soars, your friends help, and your ancestors give you the blessing of success. Take it, take it. We offer, your, we offer our help and hope that you will take the challenge and take the help and make it a success. Any comments, questions from the audience here? Yes, I am curious. I have a mark in my arm, in my right arm. I would like to know what is what is this, please. How old is the mark? Uh, when I wake up, uh, sometimes it's up here. Uh, how old is the mark? I didn't understand. I'm sorry. How old? Yeah, how old? Uh, two days, and uh, each uh, week it's come again. Oh, so it comes and disappears, comes and disappears? Yes, it's a it's a peer when I wake up and I don't know what uh, what what is. How does it look? 
like your shape eyes ah hmm wow on which side of the on which part of the hand in um my uh, upper part uh, right arm which part of the arm <laughs> I, I i don't know how to explain <laughs> close to the palm or close to the elbow uh close uh, to the elbow in oh. a in a um, I will speak in French and you uh, uh, use your device for translation. Let's try. <laughs> Alors c'est euh, sur euh, le haut de mon bras. C'est euh, en forme d'œil. Thank you. Uh, someone is trying to speak to you and they chose this way because it was easiest for them to give you messages. Um, take it as a message and um, if it feels uncomfortable invite them to speak to you directly through, to your, through your mind not through your skin but somehow it's easier for them to write on your skin a message for you so look at this as positive messages this is a friend from um, lower dimensions it's from um, the fairy realm realm of fairies and um, gnomes they have their friends and send you messages and they want to establish a connection this way and uh, how uh, can i uh, uh, communicate with them by uh, opening sad eye maybe just talk to them speak up vocally speak up and um, then understand they they understand the intention speak like you would speak to a dog okay i will let some food for them i have another question you say the what, about put maybe flowers yes put flowers especially for them okay thank you great you have said uh, about integration of a uh, gift you are given to us how we can reach those gifts did i yes did i, I did uh there were gifts speak spoken by yogananda and i spoke about gifts as well these are the same ideas that as you move forward expect be open keep your eye on the messages especially on random random things keep your eye on random things wish something and see if it comes basically you have to notice it you have to be aware of it you usually see things where you look so look around physically and mentally look around for things which help which are will serve you as keys and magical friends this eye which appears on your hand is one of those gifts you it's for you to discover what it is but it is a gift which is a mark to be used to open certain mystical closed doors okay thank you very much <laughs> any more questions and comments and here we'll start wrap, wrapping up mm, i invite more blessings when as we wrap up we would like to desire to give you a blessing from our race Thank you much for spending the time here. Yes, Kuna, you're such a young man. 
forget about honor you got a royal origin you are the descendant of the great rulers keep your honor and the honor will carry you through the honor is the only the only friend the honor is the only fire you need the honor is the only ancestor you need. Honor is the only key you need. Be honorable. And the fairness will come out of it. The success will come out of it. Be honorable. Amen. Any more comments, blessings? Yes. Good. For blessing? Yes. I pass my turn. If you, whatever you wanted to say, go ahead. I would like uh, to ask to Nina, how uh, can we um, uh, pro proceed for uh, for less damage, damages in our body or in um, in regard of is this huge energy it's uh, coming above us and uh, our body uh, are not uh, are not uh, very um, very i know i don't know how to say uh, stable and uh, how can we uh, transform ourselves by talking to them by staying uh, rooted how uh, how advices are we for us please have you Sorry. just realize you are not your body you the body is the flower of earth and you are a spirit which is renting this body for this life so trust the earth connect to it be thankful don't hurry take your time be friend with your with your body be gentle with it listen to it speak to it it is it has a mind of of its own and it has a mind of your ancestors speak to them you as you use your body you bring your part of the energy to the body by, by itself it is useless so the body is your friend so Give it love, give it the energy. Yes, but you have its own brain. I, it's intelligent, and uh, I, uh, I think I have to not uh, control it and only sense it because uh, my body is like an antenna, and uh, it's regulate alone, like hurts, uh, like hurt, and I don't have to want to control. It is true your it would help yes true absolutely absolutely true your contribution of the energy to the body is through your highest excitement as you bring the excitement as you bring the idea of service to others it gives you the energy it brings the divine energy to your body. You, in addition to its own energy, you 
dump more of the reason for this body to live. You give this body the reason to live. You provide this reason. And this reason is not external. It is your choice. It is you discovering yourself. As you discover yourself, you find a reason to use the body. And as you give this reason to your body as a gift, the programs are downloaded for this path. The energies of the universe flow into you, into your body, through you, through your spirit, are flown into your body. And it is energized. And it is energized. It needs less sleep. It is, needs less food. And it recovers magically as you sleep. You wake up with a new body every time. You recreate it with a new energy, new vortexes, new charge. So respect that sleep. And as you go into the sleep, reconnect it to the high energy so it gets recharged. It is recreated for your service. It is needed for your spiritual advancement and if you are on the right if you are on the right path and your body breaks the angels will recreate it for you they will come and reset it so even if you are dying but your path is right and not complete you will wake up recovering give it time to recover and it will be recreated for you that is that simple you are in this magical time and the eye on I'm not sure no that's it uh, so I bless that the body of yours I bless its health and I send it my sisterly love amen Thank you, Nina. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Max. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you for listening and thank you for participating. Mm. My dear desire to be with you. I miss you all. I I feel myself an alien and I feel myself a human. Both parts of me are true. Both parts have feelings and they are in peace. I pray daily. I'm looking forward for the time I can hug you all. I am capable of hugging you. I am of your size. I can breathe your air. Yet, I'm breathing the air of other worlds. And as you crave the other worlds, I crave yours. I understand the pains of your world, but yet I understand the beauty of it. The smell of your world, the energy of it is magic. It is the time and the place of the action. It is a time of the place of biggest impact. We are proud of what you have achieved and we are proud of your path. As you network, we are offering you to be part of your network. And I wish my children would live in the world you create. That's my dearest wish. It's up to you to decide, but that's what would, what, what, what lights up my heart with deepest love. Thank you for being you, and thank you for being our brother and sister. Amen. Uh, Max is partially back. Hey, everybody.
we have a big room full of people. Max, how do you see the future world? Um, uh, I, I see as uh, we didn't see uh, other by, uh, by eyes, by eyes and judgments, but only by see their mind and their richness. Uh, does it will uh, seems to happen uh, uh, in our lifetime, do you think? Ah, you want me to think? I'm here, but I'm not thinking yet. Uh, so, lifetime. It's, uh, remember John Lennon? He knew his transform. He was like Jesus. He, he was one of the people who transformed the world the most in a positive direction. His voice, not even the words, the voice. And the leadership. He was a true leader. Um, he transformed the world radically. He knew the change he is igniting will come way later. He knew that. He said about that. He, he absolutely knew. So we, um, we just can look at them. Uh, we come here to serve in this body. We will keep the memories. So our, our personality will not disappear. But it is many changes, many lifetimes to, to fully transform. So that's my understanding. But we'll, you know, look at the world 20 years ago. We already made a huge difference. So 20 years from now, it will be even, even more radically different. It will be very different. So we are in the biggest, sharpest change of the, uh, sharpest slope of the change. That's how it's, it's described in physics. It goes shallow and then it goes up and then it goes shallow again. So this is the sharpest angle we are on the uh, sharpest slope, it's like almost flying up right now. That's my understanding. That's the biggest change we're doing now. It's the time of the biggest change. And my Russian experience, I remember perestroika, I was 25 at the time, like, and it was hugest difference, hugest change. Every day, like you come out, the, the timeline was changing like daily. So I think we are coming to the same just for the whole globe. The, the changes will just go very, very fast. And um, that's where the time to serve, I guess. <sighs> Can I speak? Yay! An idea? Join us. <laughs> um, I'm also in this thinking mode now when I'm listening. I'm like thinking about my experience and and Hold on for a second. I will say goodbye to everyone. I will listen for you for a couple more minutes, and then I will leave that all open, and I need to go. But uh, you can keep the, the webinar going. All right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, it's the idea of what we are doing now. It's We call it channeling. We're talking to each other face-to-face, -face, so, so to speak, also. So we're multitasking already, having like a multitask conversation with the now, which we're all pointing at. Um, channeling is a communication tool for us to communicate with ourselves and our deeper selves and our our other selves in a sense whatever you want to call it other perspectives other universes other entities other aliens other races and when we when i listen to channeling there are two aspects that I've concluded exists in my reality and it's the knowing aspect and the not knowing aspect or knowing another aspect there is not not knowing an aspect but let's say just two aspects and when I, in this body, 
combine these two and believe that they are not separate and believe that it's one with me all the time, I feel something is happening with me. And with the aspect of life, the perspectives of life, the feelings of life. And something that I have realized that I'm in the spirit right now. Spirit is not separate from me. I am the spirit. I'm speaking to myself right now. And yes. I have many, and I have many ears that are listening to me. And I have also my my own ears. But they are not separate. They are all my my ears. And when all of my ears will speak from this perspective, which I believe that we do now because I speak about it, we are all one. I'm speaking right now and my ears are listening. And I'm in the spirit. I am the spirit. I am everything. Yes, it as Ogan on the had said, uh, we need to forget in order to recognize, but all it's here. And uh, for me, channeling, it's a kind of uh, a sort of um, um, of uh, um, attracting thing, but uh, it's distracting you from uh, remain at your center i love to listen channelings but it's uh, uh it's a uh, it's it's not it's it's a distraction for me for doing my real inner work do you understand exactly that's what i wanted to collaborate on it is sort of the second aspect the, the questioning aspect, you're in, in question mode. feels like you don't understand and, and you're still trying to reach or search for, for information or that somebody has it and it's not you or any, <laughs> any other yes. fear-based aspect. It doesn't have to be fear-based, but it can just be just, you know, just, just everybody knows how it feels for them. So mm -hmm. I only speak for myself because I believe that what I feel, you feel. Yes, but through channeling, we uh, we recognize another aspect as uh, for me in Dragon in Ants, I recognize a sort of rich energy. I don't know how they will use it. But for me, it's a rich energy, like in everyone. And when you listen to channel, you acknowledge another kind of being, another intelligence. It's a rich part in a channeling for me. It's like layers of information in what is being said. You can hear from different dimensions, different aspects of the conversation that is going on. You can hear it in movies, you can hear it everywhere, you can hear it in any conversation that is that you're listening to has different levels of information and, and different frequencies and and there's so much information in everything that that there is there is just never yes. ending, you know, in that sense. You know? Yes, unified the field, all is connected, but uh, don't lose yourself. You are here to being you. If you come too high, you, you, I don't know, you can be as Jesus, but you can, 
you can go too high and uh, I don't know, it's your choice. You have to, to stay your feet on hers. I believe there's something that maybe my ancestor may have they taught you guys. Of course, like, I think like when it comes to uh, staying your foot on earth, they always told me is that sometimes your powers don't always allow you to go any lower or go any higher. That is why you have a members around you to help you. And there are reasons why uh, people around you are helping you is so that they can help assist this place to go up. When they are on the same page as you, they are your uh, allies. And yes, somehow they told me that there has a, there is a lot of anger and a lot of like uh, underlying feuds behind uh, between the Pleiadians and the Dracos. We used to have a lot of that. And Lyrans. That is the reason why they wanted to talk to the Pleiadian because it's almost like we're apologizing to them. Or sometimes that we have a history. I felt the history all along. I mean, I felt it all my life, and and the more the more we reveal in this now, the more better I feel about it. It's like we're coming to 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 those frames of now that we're actually unveiling a lot of of long term it feels like a long-term thing that has been going on for a long time and, and we're coming to, to an end of it, you know, in that sense, a new beginning, you know, a new beginning of, of what's, what's going to be when, when we're, when we're all fine with, with ourselves, you know. And that then, is the reason why sometimes we have more questions for Nima than, uh, than just simply answer. But somehow, it's just somehow like uh, there wasn't enough time. Hmm. You know? I just don't know if Max is really, uh, if some of the people that he channeled really understood that from my ancestors. But that is the reason why we uh, we wanted to speak. I, I, to me, my my aspects of it, it are very clear. I understood what it means to me because I'm focusing on myself at this time, trying more and more to focus on myself than, than anything else. And uh, I felt every little thing of it. I felt everything I felt and it stirred me up and it made me come to conclusions that what's knocking on the door that has been introduced before and yeah it's, it's really really strong 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 energy to honor what max said it's it's energy it's you it's honor it's love it's pride in that sense that you're honoring that you can really be proud over what you have created and what you mm -hmm what you stand for in that sense, if you stand for anything. <laughs> it's open, it's open to anybody to create their way of manifesting love, whatever love means, if love is not everything we feel right now. And uh, sometimes uh, being uh, the bad uh, people or bad guy, it's uh, harder uh, than being in uh, light and being uh, light people because when you are in the dark, dark and you decide to change, you have a huge uh, effort to make and uh, non uh, everyone can make this uh, change it's a huge change do you understand 
Mm. Well, what, what I feel it's uh, a huge change that I'm going through is is the the feminine side of my energy that I have sort of blocked, you know, my mother's energy, you know, which is me, which, which, which is just so beautiful, you know, <laughs> and I have forgotten and I have blocked myself and I have taken it for granted and I have, you know, now it's up to me to really show myself how much I really appreciate the 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 offer that I've been given. This it's a gift, totally from from the bottom. It's a gift, and it's a playful gift, and it's it can take take us anywhere. You know. So, you so, know, so yeah, I cannot like. For the channeling, like if you really want to channel uh, like uh, other aspects of yourself, or if you want to uh, go a uh, higher to, like even uh, to even like dragons, for example, I would recommend this right here. These are the stones that. These are the stones that if you hold on to it, you will uh, sense this energy and you will uh, you'll be able to talk uh, to uh, like my ancestors, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, but for uh, for making this happen, you had to open some kind of oh, yeah. doors. You cannot only uh, hold uh, all the all this and uh, channel you ha you had to uh, to do a work before oh yeah but it's it's like it's you have all the time in the world you know like i can still repeat myself to say that but and this is the way of we talk you know but it's like giving yourself really 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 from the bottom of everything that you are what you feel and give yourself the the chance to give yourself everything you ever felt you wanted to give yourself which can be in 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 some ways we take a deep 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 breath you know as, as long as we can you know and it's it feels so good to just take that breath like as deep as you can and that's that's sort of what i mean with that with that thought process or that energy that see how far you can actually take everything and live them out to the fullest and you, and you will see what you will find it's like the unknown we call it but it's not unknown it's like you you you, you already have it you know and and you don't have to do it either you don't have to prove yourself it's just a way of letting yourself go, letting yourself be able to express yourself, you know, mm -hmm. and it can be go up to mountain and scream your fucking lungs off. Doesn't yeah. matter, you know, or or I don't know, you know, just roll around in the grass like a dog. You see, it's like freedom on 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 another level, you know it's the, yes. you don't know how it will feel until you do it really and let yourself oh, yeah. go, you know let yourself really fucking go go to the you know if you yeah yeah i cannot i can come with so many examples but you already know it and it's that that's it's okay yeah. yes but sometimes guys you are not afraid when you let uh, energies uh, coming to you and uh, your heart uh, start to explode uh, or those kind of feeling or burning feeling uh, or your mind go away and you don't come back to your body how i can i i not allow those kind of feelings because each time it's too much there is a reason why like uh, the thing is is that if you were to uh if you want to ground yourself and being able to know like 
how to become uh, like uh, stronger in channeling, I would also recommend like first you uh, like practice meditation, practice uh, like um, when you do something, think. It's okay to think. And there is a reason why before I start channeling my ancestors, I, I got this, I usually go to college and college will push you to uh, think more. And one of the things that I will have to do uh, to change my habit to open myself up more is to eat meat. And it's sometimes it's scary. And uh, there are things like uh, like Yogananda said, it's uh, it will uh, you will fail, but. You gotta know that it's uh, that everything is a learning. Uh, if you want to uh, reach for the highest stuff, like always try. Better than doing nothing. I run a restaurant also here in the Czech Republic, and I I was introduced to a recipe for my new menu in my new restaurant from a friend, and I like those games when things comes to me. From, from the outside and surprises me. Um, so I put it on the menu. It was uh, pork ribs, barbecue pork ribs with a homemade marinade. And and the way he showed me was, was to um, put the ribs in the water, uh, in the oven with water and it should boil for two hours and then you take them out and then you finish them without the water one hour more and after that and I didn't feel good about anything about pork ribs from beginning to even serve it I have you know my weird relationships that I have to work on and um, but then a vision came to me that I shouldn't boil the pork ribs you know and it was just just to me like uh-huh you know okay but i totally realized everything about that now not boiling the pork ribs i see the outcome from it and it was just a, such a small thing that if i didn't know or if i didn't do it then i wouldn't know so small things can be big things too and yeah, I just want to say we do mistakes to do them to realize that they are mistakes so we can change them. Okay, so yeah, so. Okay, no, so, uh, that's. I want you to uh, remember that uh, the stone that I'm holding or the necklace in, uh, that I'm holding in my hand, that's raw diamond. You can uh, try to look that up on Amazon. They might... Uh, like uh, if you want to start out with something uh, uh, or working with channeling you might uh, you might get one of the strong zones uh, if, especially if you want to uh, work on channeling the reptilian or draco uh, energy like jad like jad stone uh somewhat or precious metals like gold Because such energy is very uh, strong, and they, uh, if channeled uh, without preparation, uh, it can burn you. Yes, yes, I don't want to do wrong things. I want to be ready. But uh, stone, diamond, you are really from Raya? They, they come from India. Okay, thank you. So since uh, a lot of people just start coming and going, I guess I'm gonna have to start going as well. I'm for me to get going. Okay, thank you for coming. No problem. Uh, oh wait, and when are we having another Hakulo uh, meeting like yesterday? Uh, I don't know, I have to check on uh, your Kolo website. Oh, next Saturday, Con. Okay. Okay, I see. 
I will come over because, and this time, I, the best thing that if, if any of you wants to channel my ancestors, I always ask me to bring this with me. <laughs> awesome. This is, um, this is uh, the sword of my ancestors. So if you, uh, if you felt like you uh, need like uh, energy to speak to them, uh, ask to touch my sword, and you will, uh, uh, you will uh, be able to talk to them very well from there. Yes, but have you had uh, another time life with other kind of species, and uh, how can you channel uh, other? uh species was the was the uh et was the et uh me i have been a lifetime as a luxurian once or andromedan but most of my lifetime like they my ancestor told me 1521 incarnates 821 was draconian or dragon ah okay thank you and for you, uh, Khan, let me, uh, because you wanted to know about, uh, you want to draw Draconian, or do you want to, uh, my species, or do you want, uh, like, the regular uh, species? Like, there are a class of different uh, Draconians. Actually, I know the all of the types, and also your kind. Like, if you... If you want to know, like, my kind, like, my yes. father, yes. this is my yes. Facebook page. You will see, like, the cover, uh, front cover, that's my, that's who I am. The screen? The green dragon, that's me. Is that like a Chinese dragon with wings? Yes, we, I have no limbs. Oh, okay. That's okay. the first, uh, that's actually almost like my final form. Like I can go, uh, I can grow as much as I need, as much as I want. And they're legless and they, uh, they are called the, they're called the creators. Okay. Do you have time for a 10 minute sketch? I will show you something. You mean you want to sketch me or you want to yes. sketch my ancestors or who? Yes, ancestors. Very well. We can sense that you are drawing us, are we not? Yes. Who do you desire to draw? I want to desire your kind. They are, there are 60 of us surrounding you. Who among the 60? Can you see the drawing now? Our sun is telling us. Yes. Are you seeking to draw our child? Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
啊，两个坑，两个坑，我让你先听到我的音乐啊。Close. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. No problem. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. 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 If you desire to draw me, Alexander, then I shall show myself to you. Okay, Alexander. Can you see me now? I'm right in front of you, and I can see you too. No, not yet. I have shapeshifted, if you actually notice. This is my final form. I found it. Wonder if you are aware of my ear. Okay. If you want to see my uh, my ancestors, you will know that my mother has an ear very different from the rest of the group. Yes, we have such ears. Mom, my mother, and my uh, stepmother has that. But I don't look so green. Do you? Are you mistaken that I am uh, have gone through my regular form? Is it blue? It's white. white. My Perhaps. my stepmother is blue in her uh, real form, and my father is red like fire. But most of us on our regular form, yes, we are green. But I chose to shape shift because that's how I normally come. Uh, when I do ceremonies with everyone here. You have skills. Perhaps you are drawing my mother or stepmother. I look a lot more white than that. Okay. Oh, very close. And my skin, it does have armor on there as well. I look 
like my mother and my ancestors. They are, they have armors, amphibian features. But I also look like my father. I would like to say thank you for the one who had uh, visited me last night for help me to open third eye, but I want to be ready before those kind of things. Thank you. Perhaps you may have seen one of us or you have contacted us. You have interacted with so much of, a, uh, of our, uh, our lifetime that now you are opening up to who we are. That is what happens when any race interact with us. They open, they bloom. Okay, thank you. Mm. A little more lighter than that for we are that's partly I am blue but I'm a lot lighter a lot that's a lot like me and my ears Perhaps you have not seen a fish before, am I not? Or a salamander? <laughs> yes. It wasn't just simply armor. I also have fish scales and lizard-like okay. from my back. I look like my mother and my father. Let us send you a little picture of what the gills or the ears look like. Have you seen this type of salamander before? No. This is what my ears look like. Oh. 
how is your eyes full black like grace you see it yourself This is when I am in my regular form. I am indeed green. Be sure you also uh, remember my ears and that I still look like my father in this form as well. His regular form is very different too. I, on the other hand, I'm, when I am in my ascended, I am very different. When I am regular, I am very different. I still look like my mother in many ways. <laughs> but I also look like my father. What kind of, of skill have you like a fire skill, telekinesis skill, how kind of skill, uh, uh, gift have you? For me, as a regular one, in my regular form. Yes. I am the light attribute. I am the non-dual attribute. My father is fire. My mother is life. My stepfather is wisdom. But my stepmother, she's water. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it seems like my ancestor doesn't seem to recognize me from that drawing. <laughs> That sounds like I am a baby uh, dragon, a baby uh, draconian who uh, who is a hybrid. I look a lot more scarier than that. Okay. <laughs> I look kind, but usually people don't always see that. In me. It's for introducing you to humans.
I have a question. When I was a child, I always obsessed with drawing dragons. Do you have why is that? Perhaps. We can sense that you were once a person who has... You must be into photography, we believe. Or you really desire to uh, teach art to someone. Yes. I am a movie director. Perhaps we have hired you to draw us whenever a lot of beings did not see us or have a hard time being able to picture us or you, you know were also uh, one of the people who draw or draw us uh, to almost spread awareness like activism yes I see. that's why you have fascination Oh, that does look like Irax. He's more fish-like in this regard because he is a hybrid like his mother and his father who have a lot of thorns on his face. But he, from the neck down, and his body is like fish. I know. Oh, and also be sure you uh, don't forget my ears because my mother uh, gave that to me as an inheritance. A lot of people never remember that part of me and that's why they have a hard time recognizing me. I am part amphibian, if you notice. Yes. yes. What color is your color? Eyes. May you look at it and help me see, for sometimes I don't have a mirror with me.
Yes, that's all for today. We can make another stack if you want. Hmm. Now that does look like me. If you desire to draw my eyes, that's still fine. Hmm. Yes, we desire such pictures so that our sons can actually remember himself. Sometimes evil gods. And if you desire to draw uh, his father, biological father, that would be great. Okay, always. I want to always help you at your kind, whenever you want. I'm ready in here. Daddy? Can you show yourself? To Khan. He is now ready. He desires to show himself in full body so that you may uh, help our child remember him. Okay. He is red and, and fiery in color. Gold to be more exact. Very much like a Chinese dragon. Okay. He has shown himself to you. He looks a lot gold in that. Gold, orange, and red.
I wonder if my father also have wings on there. If you want, I can add. We would like to also desire to ask if you still want to draw one of us. Okay. We have many members and perhaps our son might want to see our mo uh, his mother, biological mother. Okay. That Can is... You this is both for you and for our son. Mother, Roshashin, he desires to speak to you and uh, see you. May you show yourself to him. Thank you, mother.
my mother has shown herself to you. My biological mother, if you want to know exactly who it is. Can you tell me about her, her personalities, her appearance? Mm. Mother, may you show yourself to uh, him. She's a very loving woman. She loves all life forms. A shaman, the leader of her own tribe. She was a beautiful uh, woman, but she was captured as a slave for the draconians. For genetics. It's a human shaman? She's she is reptilian amphibian hybrid. Reptilian? Reptilian. Reptilian amphibian. And she's a beautiful woman that my father married. I would like to say you are beautiful as your energy is powerful. She is also amphibian as well. Her scales look very fish like. Unlike my skin, who is very rough and like my father, who is a reptile. And yes, she also wears jewelries a lot of times. My mother is very well known for that. Mm -hmm. Just like my stepmother, because we are from nobility and royalty. We do wear uh, jewelries to indicate uh, who we are.
golden jewelries? Wow. Yes, we wear uh, golden jewelries, and yes, we uh, sometimes we do wear clothes just like uh, humans do when uh, we are outside to indicate uh, our our role in society. She's more like what you call a priestess in your uh, world. We also love varieties. We also wear silver as well, if you desire to draw that. You say that she was uh, captured by Draconian. Uh, how did you do that? Yes. She is captured by one of the soldiers and was genetically uh, was sent to be genetically modified. But it was Irakthanda's father that uh, really married her and made her uh, his wife. The dragon that you saw that is in red, that is his father. The dragon in white, that is uh, him. Okay. Very. Good. 
perhaps you have never seen my father, like my stepfather, before. Am I right, Khan? Yes. Do you still desire to see my stepfather? Yes, we can. Stepfather Khan 9, may you show yourself to him. Daddy? He has shown himself to you already. His name is Quan Nine. What kind of dragon is he? Draconian. Draconian. He's a council elder of the Draconian race. I if would you like can to say she is very elegant. If you can see my father, stepfather, especially him. He's a wise old man that uh, really was the one that took care of me when I left Dr Alpha Draconis. He's the one who, who and many others escaped from the uh, Draconian massacre. We were on a ship and we were flying to uh, Orion. Terrifying event, but he's a wise man. Very kind hearted. Sometimes his scars do speak louder than words. Orion Wars? Yes, Draco Orion Wars. And more than that, we uh, there was a massacre where some elders do not agree to uh, such agenda about conquering and destroying our places. My father belonged to one of those people. They plan to destroy us both and destroy every one of us, but he has escaped. So these are good draconians, right? Yes, he is both a leader a draconian, a council elder, a father, a historian. What is uh, his age in humans here, please? 5300. Stepfather is 5300. Biological father, 10,300. My age 
is 2300. Is there any living dragon in Earth? There is, and they are descendants of the draconian race, the inner Earth, like Shambhala. Oh, yes, sir. Like Mount. Oh my God! Oh my God! There, we sense one place in California where uh, close to the U.S. We just forgot the name of that place. But there is reptilians that live there. They are descendants of the Draconians. They are good to like you, right? There's the Chinese dragons, and the ones in Tokyo are one of them. There's many of us, including one in Peru. Casicato is one of them. Egypt is one of them. Is there any in Turkey? Turkey, uh... I don't know. We do not seem to recognize that place very well. But there is one other place. Israel. Yes, Turkey is close to Israel. Egypt is on there, definitely on there. E Israel, they are hybrids. India is one of them. Nagas. Southeast Asia. Your stepfather is like a mentor, like a teacher. For he just he is an elder. He is a teacher. Is is teacher just for you or for all your race? He is an elder for all. Uh, those who are draconian, those who come to him with problems or needed a negotiation, he is the one that will speak for both sides. He no, makes sure that our race gets a good he's, deal. Yes, he's a peacemaker, right? He is indeed. There is a reason why very few people can see him for his wisdom is so much that some people are already overwhelmed we never desire such uh, things from people but sometimes they want to see us but they need preparation but that is him really? he is green and dark green in color okay that is okay, but remember, he is dark green. For black to us and darkness stands for absorption of all wisdom. For recharging, do, do uh, the, um, each one of you uh, connect to um, Gaia, um, Gaia entity, like uh, water energy, fire energy? Uh, we are elemental benders. We are the benders of all elements and creators of the universes, especially the dragons like 
Ayrakthanda's father. We are the descendants of them. And they are the ones that have taught us the arts of uh, energy. So yes, we do familiar with Gaia, but we are not natives of Gaia. Gaia, we came from a totally different world. Yes, and can you talk about uh, the dragon keepers of porta of portals? Because I I will say there is kind of dragon who keep portals for uh, light and for wisdom. That is our father, stepfather, Pan Nine that you just saw today. He is the keeper of uh, history. Perhaps because he keep history and that there has been a fascination about our civilization. That's why Khan is drawing us. He has done so for so many lifetimes for other uh, dragons. Thank you. Can you were asking to me where I am from? You are yes. asking, yes, uh, a native uh, human uh, country? Yes. Mm. Okay. I am uh, half uh, from Brazil, half uh, from uh, Arabic, and uh, oh. I live in uh, Paris. Oh, great. Are you Muslim? No. No. Okay. Uh, you are from indeed all over the place. From where? All over the place. We have no idea uh, like your place of origin or your blood's origin for it's so diverse. Yes, maybe it's more easier not to church and to accept and uh, and uh, go uh, straight and don't look uh, at past. We always have believe that sometimes history repeats itself. Yes, it's a wise uh, kind of, it's a wise uh, thinking. That's why we sometimes cling to the past is because sometimes we want to know how does the future works. We want to know certainty, but we are scientific minded. So it's okay. Mm. Yes, my father is saying that it does look like him. Mm. My stepmother seems to also want to show herself. Okay. Stepmother, Crestonia.
where you show yourself to con Crestonia. <sighs> It has been done and shown to you. She's a beautiful blue uh, dragon. Kiakar, to be more exact in your own language. She is the queen of all dragons. The one that beholds all existence. Somewhat, she uh, has things like myself. A lot of people have seen her before. They reported that she has ears just like me, but somehow she looks. Can I see that one? She looks very much like myself, but. Sometimes she can be manifesting in different ways. She's a gentle dragon. She's old and she looks, she does wear jewelries as a sign of royalty. Sometimes you will see her flare blue uh, flames and auras before you. But that is how we dragons manifest. And yes, she looks she has armors, just like other dragons. She is also once my caregiver and a mentor that cares uh, for me when I was a little boy. She was the one that taught me the way of my father when he is away.
And yes, we do have horns too. And we are very, very, uh, sometimes we don't always look very pretty. Even Chris Sonia. She's very gentle, but she can be somewhat scary. She looks more like I am. Somewhat like my father as well. More like father than me. It's a great day. I am glad we can see you uh, now because uh, humans are awakening. Everyone are awakening. It's a yes. great day. Yes, we have seen such awakening. We are proud of being uh, that we have never wasted our efforts bringing our child to you. He will learn a lot from you as you grow with him. He's the bridge between us and you and all humans. As the masters always say, always say, one day we all will be um, rewarded uh, at uh, each of uh, everyone who had done difficult pass and uh, one day if you I don't know you be sure will, you also you add be... some fire into Bessonia because she tend to manifest to you and to others in fire be sure you help her know and let others know that she sometimes manifests that way. It's blue fire or red fire? Blue fire. Okay. Just like the skin on herself. Blue auras to be even more exact. My father has red fire. I have white. Very well done. This is something we want to show to the human world, but so many people have never seen us. This is just a quick sketch. I can do it later, better version. We are thankful for your efforts. And 
do you desire to see more of our family or if that is okay with you it's it's okay for now we can continue later is it okay sure we have a these are the first few members that we want to present to the human world for the first blue dragon we want you to remember her name Crestonia. C R E S T O N I A Crestonia. Or K H R. We have a very different way of pronouncing each other's name. K R A E S T O N A N I A. Crestonia. Our father, stepfather, whom you draw as the green uh, draconian. His name is Quan Nine. K W A N. I N E. You may call him by that name. The one that you have drawn the green uh, amphibian. Her name is Krokshakshin. K H R. Double A, you. C H A Z H I N. The red dragon that you just drew. His name is Kartosh Sotabila. Father, may you spell your name to him. K H A R T O S H. Since you speak Turkish, it's she. Ah. R T. O R T. I believe. The spelling. A B I L A. That is his name. Kartor Sotabila. My name is Alexander. It's one month. A Y H with a dot underneath the H. This is somewhat Hebrew or Egypt. R A K H T H A N D A is my name. Those are the three manifestations that I show myself to people. The white dragon that you saw and the green baby one that is me. D 
these are the members that if you desire to connect further, they are here more frequently than ever. If you desire to see more, we shall show you who are in our members. Perhaps you've never seen Alexander's brothers and sisters. Okay, next time. Thank you for telling yourself. Much love. Mm. All right, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, drawing my family, uh, like the thing is, is when you say that you want to draw all my, uh, you want to see all um, my family members. That's what they will take it as. Like they want, uh, they will show you. Like uh, there's going to be a lot of members. To be honest with you, those are the four, uh, like five of the most common people you'll see uh, when you see me. You know. Yes, it's awesome. I can mail this one. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, you can uh, send it over to me, and I will uh, like uh, I will uh, like uh, make somewhat of a copy of all that, and so that way, in case if someone asks uh, who is my ancestor, they will know who they are. Yes. Yes. Sure. Later that I'm gonna do this better version. No These are just quick sketch. Do you have? Uh, do you actually have my Facebook? No, I'm not using Facebook. So, uh, how can I get in contact with you regarding like uh, some of the pictures? I am connected by mail. Your mail. Yes. Oh, you can contact me there. Okay, hey, I'll uh, let me uh, do that real quick. Ken, you where, are, where are you yeah. from, Ken? I'm from Turkey. Istanbul. Um. Merhaba. <laughs> Merhaba. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making sure you're not like uh, overwhelmed, but. That's why I asked a uh, nasal sinus. Uh, how do you know this Turkish words? I I used to study Turkish when I uh, studied. Uh, I actually uh, studied Turkish uh, when I was in high school. I went to a Turkish uh, high school, uh, and oh, yes. it, it's called Harmony Science Academy back in Austin. Yes. I don't know if you guys had uh, seen uh, Andy uh, fa page, Facebook page, but he had studied a lot of things. Okay, guys, I have to go. See you soon later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Much love to uh, everyone. Ciao. All right, I sent you an email, Khan. Okay, I guess I'm going. Uh...